And welcome to The Factor Uncensored. Thank you for joining us tonight. We have a great program planned for you. And thank you for staying up late. The line between poverty and lower middle class has been moved once again on us. A new report from GoBanking.com or GoBankingRates.com suggests a salary of $150,000 a year is considered as lower middle class in certain cities. The study ranks cities and salaries across the country. Arlington, Virginia takes the top spot where nearly $153,000 is just enough to be put in the lower middle class category. How do we get here? Joining us to talk about it is Ms. Rose, the realtor, and Patrick Jones, the CEO of United Cyber Partners and a creator of finance-centered YouTube channel. Glad to have you both here on The Factor on Central. So, Patrick, first, can we ever get ahead in America now yeah. with the new standards that have been set right you know it's it's funny because inflation is soaring on a consistent basis and uh, un, you know unfortunately when you have certain political parties there that's something that kind of comes with um, the political party uh, as far as getting ahead yes you can get ahead but you need to understand when it comes to keeping up with the Joneses please don't do that mm -hmm. understand staying within your means is paramount and if you don't do that then you could be headed for disaster mm -hmm. especially here in America we understand that people are losing their assets rapidly um, there's organizations out there that are consistently possessing things and uh, it's now more than ever you must stay within your means. Yeah. And we've always heard all you have to do is make six, six figures in America and you're doing well. So now that's not true? No, not at all. Many things are changing just due to inflation. The cost of living is spiking. And people are really, you know, just trying to make ends meet at this yeah. time. And um, working with my clients because I also do have a tax firm, most Americans I'm seeing are making under about 60K a year on, um, annually. Really? Mm -hmm. And so where would, that would, <clears throat> according to this standard, put them poverty almost. Yes, very true. And how do we deal with that as an American citizen where they say, work hard, uh, and, and you'll get the American dream, the, the, the house, the white picket fence, the 2.5 kids, and now... <laughs> <laughs> 2.5. And then now the, the finish line has been moved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just think that we have to work harder. Unfortunately, we live in a world that's forever changing, and a lot of people are picking up like side gigs, starting businesses on the side, just to try to make that extra income so that their family isn't stuck in that poverty level and things of that nature. And Patrick, when people are spending their time not enjoying their life or mm -hmm. the fruits of their labor, mm -hmm. they're doing side gigs. Yeah. Life yes. is hard mm -hmm. and become frustrating, mm -hmm. and then that family life mm -hmm. is impacted by that. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's give and take, right? Depending upon what you want out of life. If you want to be on the couch, then obviously, you know, you're not going to work that side hustle. But now Americans have to do more in order to get ahead. Uh, and if you're not willing to put forth the effort and the hard work and, and make the appropriate sacrifice, you didn't get here without sacrifice, right? So if you're not willing to make the appropriate sacrifice, then unfortunately you will be a statistic of the lower to middle income you know, threshold. But if you are willing to go the extra mile and potentially you know, work your nine to five and then after that, you know, work your side hustle for a couple of hours. That's just what you have to do. Mm -hmm. That's the new norm. Mm -hmm. And for those who are wondering now, these are specific cities, mm -hmm. not the city of Houston. So 150,000 in the city of Houston, Patrick, what does that do for you? Are you still middle <laughs> class? Are you still doing well? I would say 150,000 here is middle to upper class mm -hmm. uh, depending upon you know if you're not going out and buying your Gucci your Louis your Fendi if you're living below your means you can still live a decent lifestyle more than decent you can live a phenomenal lifestyle you can have the things that you want you can go on your you know potentially two to three vacations a year two vacations a year and you can live you know fairly Definitely. decent now if you incorporate kids on top of that 150,000, potentially a significant other, a wife and or a husband, well, now that's where 
to dual incomes are key, mm -hmm. right? That's where keeping the father in the household is key. Yeah. That's where keeping the mother in the household is key. Your money goes much further. Mm -hmm. All right. And would you agree with that? Yes, I definitely agree. Two um, incomes in a household is very much so kind of needed in these days and times. Uh, doing it by yourself and having children in a home is like kind of spreading your, your income and finances a little thin. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot more people I'm seeing um, are reaching out and trying to, you know, create passive income just so that they can be able to bridge that gap. And when you take a look at some of your clients when you're doing tax um, work, what are they doing to increase that income aside from that base salary? Um, a lot of my clients I'm seeing are reaching out to, um, well, a lot of them are working like with Uber, doing those kind of like side gigs where they can, you know, go as they please. It's not a set schedule and things of that nature to be able to get that extra income to help the household out. It's hard to mm -hmm. be rich in America these it days, is. right? You know it what is. they say? All my life <laughs> I had mm -hmm. to fight. 